Avengers Infinity War. For many, a commercial dime a dozen blockbuster with dime a dozen artwork. But if that's the case, what do this poster and this painting have in common? Welcome to Is This Art, where we take a closer look at pop culture and try to answer the age-old question, is this art? Marvel Comics has been around for a long time. It was founded in 1939 as Timely Comics by this man, Martin Goodman. In 1944, they started producing movies based on their comics. I want you to remember something when you get out of jail, pal. The old people around here are my friends. Since that time, they managed to take the superhero genre to a whole new level. Spider-Man, X-Men, Captain America and the Avengers, all characters from the immensely popular Marvel Universe. Each and every one of these characters have earned their place in our hearts and pop culture. It seems hard to imagine a world without them. These days, Marvel is breaking box office records with almost every new film release. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has generated over 15 billion dollars, making it the most successful movie franchise of all time. This Marvel Cinematic Universe is built up of dozens of films and TV shows, all telling stories as part of a larger transmedia story world. Every few years, these individual storylines come together in a series of films called The Avengers, partially based on the comic books. We're close to the final film of this first giant MCU chapter, Avengers Endgame. Last year, its predecessor was released with this accompanying poster. We see superheroes in a certain order, one bigger than the other, in dynamic poses. At first glance, it looks pretty chaotic, right? And one could argue, a little old-fashioned maybe? Here's the thing, every millimeter of this poster is carefully composed with one sole purpose. To lock your eyes and let you engage with the image with just the right amount of tension. This is where it gets interesting. Whether on purpose or not, it seems the artists at Marvel used four separate design principles that go back at least 400 years, well into the 17th century. Design principles perfected by a certain Dutch painter by the name of Rembrandt van Rijn. In some ways, you could say that this Avengers poster is a modern version of Rembrandt's masterpiece, The Night Watch. Why? Let's have a look at the obvious. The composition. The way the characters are placed in both designs. Just like in the poster, Rembrandt's composition is pretty chaotic. It looks like a random group of people. A guy firing a gun, a little girl walking from left to right, and then there's this captain in front reaching his hand out to you, the viewer. However, this composition isn't random. You see, when we mess around with some geometrical shapes and lines and place them over the painting, we suddenly see order in what before appeared to be chaos. Rembrandt used geometrical shapes like triangles and diagonal lines to direct the viewer's eyes to the most important part of the painting, the center. The same can be said for the Avengers poster, where, when we use those same shapes and lines, all attention is directed to the most important member of the Avengers, Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. In the case of the Night Watch, all attention of the viewers is directed towards Captain Franz Bannek Koch. The second design principle is the use of light, or better yet, the lack of it. Rembrandt perfected dark light contrasts with strong shadows and dark backgrounds in his paintings. This darkness creates drama and has another bonus. You can easily highlight the most important subjects. As you can see, there's clear lighting on the girl and captain and lieutenant in the front. Rembrandt wanted you, the viewer, to focus on these people. This group is protecting the city. The captain gives a marching order, and the girl is the mascot and patron for the group, wearing their colors in the chicken claws as a symbol for the group's weaponry, a kind of pistol called a clover. The shadows on the faces of the Avengers are almost identical to the shadows on Rembrandt's painting. They even used Rembrandt's trademark, a little shadow triangle on the right side of the nose. The third principle is what we call emotion. Rembrandt painted the very essence of people. Maybe not who they wanted to be, but who they really were. He was probably the least flattering of all painters in the 17th century. He was able to capture something that's most difficult for any painter. Emotion. In his dramatic compositions, he highlighted those emotions even further. Not only in people, because look at this dog, for example. It must be scared of the man beating the drum above him. Or look at the calm manner of the captain. As a viewer, you'll immediately trust him to do the job he's assigned for, protecting you and your loved ones. The Avengers poster does just that. The villain on top, looking mean as ever, and the heroes looking certain and determined to protect the viewers. 
Besides, they are ranked in importance by their size and place in the poster, just like the Night Watch. Nothing in these works is chosen at random. Everything is structured and deliberately chosen to provoke a certain feeling. But still, there's something very chaotic about them. Back in the 17th century, the best painters of the Dutch Republic were assigned to do these massive group portraits of the city's most important men, the civil guards. The civil guards protected the city from external and internal threats. Big cities like Amsterdam had several groups protecting the city and most of them would get their portraits painted. But when you compare the group portraits by Rembrandt and his contemporary artists, you'll notice a big difference in movement and action. The other group portraits were kind of stiff. Everybody was aligned and perfectly facing forward. Now we get to our final principle, action. The Night Watch is probably the most action-packed painting of the 17th century. Have a look, they are firing guns, waving flags, beating the drum with that annoying dog barking below it. You can almost hear the painting. This completes the story of the Night Watch. These men are not messing about. These are men of action. That's why Rembrandt's Night Watch is so revolutionary. For the Avengers poster, I guess there is no need in highlighting these elements. But is this art? We'll let you decide. Let us know whether you think this Avengers Infinity War poster is art or not, and let us know your suggestions for new episodes of Is This Art. Thanks for watching.